it was the 15th January 2023 when I decided to expose myself to the masses all in the hopes of personal growth. Never in many years did I see myself on national television, let alone one filled with more than 100 cameras. That's crazy, right? I went in there on a journey to discover my true self, to connect with people from different worlds, to make friendships that will last me a lifetime, to learn and to be inspired. More importantly, to realize my dreams and potential. I went in there scared, shy, doubtful, because again, I didn't think I deserved the good things in life. I stood amongst the sons and beautiful daughters of Nigeria and South Africa. Going into the house, I knew I was opening myself up to criticism. But I didn't mind because I knew whether I did great or not, people would always have something to say. I mean, in the great words of Bonang Mateba, people only talk about you because when they talk about themselves, nobody listens but i can never forget those people that were behind me and believed in me every single day no one can ever take this experience away from me i was there to represent people like me who suffer from anxiety the boys and girls who are introverts and have social anxiety because let's be honest that is a real thing i was able to be true to myself, I mean, goofy and weird, I think that is one of my strongest components of a good mental health. I now know anxiety is caused by ignoring who you are and leaving to what others say. I have learned to maintain my well-being. I just needed to recognize my inner strength. I have cried 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 i have danced and danced and danced and i have played its first female member And I have discovered my beauty. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ipileng Selepe, and this is my story. What's up everybody welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Ipileng for those of you who are new and joining us for the first time guys I am back <laughs> oh my word guys I am back finally back in the youtube streets it's been a while I missed home I really really missed home and I was like today I'm definitely coming back home and guys can I just say before I even get into today's video can I just say Thank you guys so much for subscribing. I see you guys. I mean, I would always come in here and say, what's up, everybody? What's up? Welcome to our little mini family. But guys, the family is not little and mini anymore. The family is like extended. It has cousins, sisters, extended cousins, related brothers, twins. Listen, we are growing guys and a huge shout out to every single one of you guys for making it possible and actually you know what following me here to the youtube stream so i am so excited guys to be going on this journey and i am inviting each and every single one of you guys i am officially out of the house and now the real work begins the real real world you know uh, um, begins and yeah guys Guys, I can't believe I'm back. I honestly can't believe this is me. So yeah, guys, this is my first official 
video or rather my first official youtube video um after the big brother house so yeah guys welcome <laughs> hello babies hello babies so yeah guys without wasting any more time let's get into today's video so what i'll be doing today is i will be answering some of the questions that you guys had for me so it's just 10 questions so don't worry the video is not going to be too long and too boring so you can relax and just enjoy so yeah let's go so the first question is why did you go into the big brother house guys i went there to discover myself to connect with my inner self to grow confidence within myself to learn and to be inspired you know and also to just get myself out there i mean i do you know have a passion for the broadcasting you know i want to do television presenting and radio presenting maybe you know not even maybe you know modeling as well so i knew that big brother is very very is a very very big platform for you to actually get yourself out there as an individual more than anything as a creative so yeah so the next question is how was it emotionally and do you think it was worth it guys yo emotionally it was emotionally draining but i think it was only emotionally draining because it was worth it guys i think that everything that is worth it um challenges you a lot you know so something that comes you know with, and that is smooth and stuff like that that's not something that is worth having but something that actually challenges you a lot is something that will even stick with you you know it will even make you so when it comes to emotionally it was it was draining guys i won't lie i mean i i'm a, i'm only human you know i'm i'm only human and every single person that was in the house would feel it you know i mean sometimes you wake up happy sometimes you wake up sad sometimes you just want to sleep and not do anything but you have to now wake up because you have a task wake up because you stay with people so more than anything i think that it really helped me a lot with also understanding myself you know emotionally as well you know it's it's realizing that when you do you feel emotional or when you are sad you don't all of a sudden have to just lie down and stuff like that and feel sorry for you guys no you have to actually wake up and actually now tell yourself and be more determined for you to actually be a better person and get yourself out of that emotional state where you are feeling sorry for yourself where you are feeling sad and stuff like that so more than anything it really helped me connect and understand myself emotionally as well so yeah it was definitely worth it the next question is what was your best time in the big brother titan's house definitely when i became a member of the thousand dollar squad i was like I was like, I didn't believe it. I honestly didn't believe it. And for me to even like get that, that is my best, you know, proudest moment in the house. So definitely when I became a member of the thousand dollar gang, I was like, Linda, I'm here. Even me, even me. <laughs> and I was actually the first female. So I was like, listen, I was like, listen, you know what? Do you know what the babies are saying? Do you know what the babies are saying? <laughs> so yeah, that was definitely my most best and proudest moment in the house. Um, this one is a bit long, so I'm going to be reading it. I'm reading it from my book. It says, coming into the house, we noticed how you found it hard to open up. And towards the end, you were free. Is, were there people that contributed to you coming out and being more comfortable Oh, definitely. I think also it was like that for most people. But for me personally, there were, there were a lot of people that actually helped me. Actually, I mean, I have Nelly that helped me a lot in getting comfortable in the house and settling in. I had Tati that was a friend to me in the house and stuff like that. You know, she really listened to me. I could confine in her. And then I had Miracle as well. That was a really, really close friend of mine in the house that really cared about me a lot. And I cared about him as well. And he really, really made me comfortable and really express myself. I also had Black Boy, who was my partner at some point, and he just helped me really, really with making decisions. He just made, you know, helped me with also just being comfortable with every single person in the house. And then I had Justin that I got along with. I mean, Justin was the only person in the house that got a lot of my jokes. And then I also had Tabang that I think... Um, we started off the show together and stuff like that. And he was really, really also there for me, just like I was there for them as well. So yeah, definitely those are the people that helped me. And how can I forget Kanaga? 
Kanaga really, really even made me feel like become very, very confident within myself, you know, because he would tell me that people are not ready for who you are about to become. You know, people don't even see you, but I'm telling you, I believe in you so much, you know, and I think that even coming out of the house, he's one of the people that I would really want to be friends with or have a, like a really stronger friendship with because he really helped me understand myself and what I want to do outside of the house. So, yeah. So, oh, this one is actually interesting. It says, who do you think was the funniest in the, in the house? Definitely Justin. Justin is like a free spirit. He is such a free spirited person. And like I said, he got most of my jokes. You know, he got a lot of my jokes and he would actually laugh with me. And even our relationship in the house was a great one. I mean, um, yeah, we just shared a lot of things in common. I mean, we're always both in the kitchen a lot. I mean, I remember there's the time where Justin was cooking and he was like, not even making food for himself, but making food for other people. I'm like, are you always going to be this guy? You know, are you, he's such a free spirit, caring person. And I think that he's one of the funniest people in the house. After me, of course. <laughs> After me, of course. Yes. Next question is... The next question is, I see you guys trying to be spicy. Which Nigerian girls would you like to stay in contact with? To be honest, I think I definitely want to stay in contact with Yvonne, Olivia and JP. I think they are one of the people that I really had the chance to actually sit down with them and actually understand them as an individual and stuff like that. And I was like, hmm you actually not that bad you actually not that bad you're actually such an amazing person and i think that we only did that at a later point in the game just because you know how everyone has their own group of friends but now your own group of friends now start to leave and you now need to find new people to actually start talking to and having conversations with you know so i think with them um especially olivia and yvonne i think we kind of started talking towards the end and really trying to understand each other and stuff so i'm not saying i wouldn't be friends with other girls it's just that i never had the chance to actually sit down with them and have a conversation and be like okay my name is Zippy Lang. i am a content creator and aspiring presenter and stuff like that tell me what you do i've just never had that with some of them but with these three I've kind of had sit down conversations with them and then reali realized rather that, okay, cool, I actually like you. I actually really, really like you. Um, The next question is, how do you overpower anxiety? Yo, guys, with my anxiety, I'm not even going to lie. This one is going to be a very tricky one for me to answer. I think I'll just say channeling positive thoughts, you know, um, realizing that you can have control over certain things or every situation that happens so more than anything just be able to tell yourself that stop you can't be doing this to yourself and just be positive you know try to be very very positive and i think that is one of the things that have been helping me and guys with anxiety it's different every day it's really really different every day sometimes you're good sometimes you're great and then sometimes it's just not so good so with with this one i don't know how to explain it i just try to be positive within myself so that's all I'm going to say. Woo, guys, those are your questions. Um, the next question is, how has life been outside the Big Brother house? Um, yo, guys, it's overwhelming. I won't even lie. It's mixed emotions. I remember coming back home and I was sitting down on the couch and everyone was, you know, my family. And I was like, what's going on? You know, I was like, I felt so, so lost because obviously they want to know how it was. They have questions about their whole the experience thing. And then at the same time, I'm like, yo, I need space. I feel so overwhelmed. I just came out the house. I was used to being with these people. I was used to, I knew where, like, I was used to seeing the same things and stuff like that. But now I'm put in a situation where I'm seeing people I haven't seen in such a long time. And I'm like, <gasps> where do we start? So it was very overwhelming. But life on the outside is is good, man. I think for me, it is good. I'm happy to be spending a lot of time with my family. I am going to start, you know, going out with my friends soon. And I'm enjoying doing the little things like driving. Ah! It, like, you get to appreciate the smallest things. You get to appreciate walking long distance. You get to appreciate going to a mall, you know, picking out whatever you want to drink, whatever you want to eat, you know what I mean? So it, it, it's really, really, you know, um, 
great for me and also i think um there's obviously a lot of expectations that people have for for us now that we're outside the house and people are like ah you should be having this you should be having this but for me it's just a thing of i'm going to do things at my own time i am going to take my time with everything every single thing rather that i do a lot of people now like to i notice they like to compare you to 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 other housemates and stuff like that I'm, and i'm just like our journeys are not the same you know what i mean and people i remember being compared with someone that has been outside the house for like a month and i'm like joe i just arrived <laughs> I just arrived you know what i mean i'm only human and i'm allowed to actually take baby steps because one thing about me is i don't like rushing like i wanna like if i feel stressed me i'm that girl i sleep if i am stressed out and stuff like that i just sleep you know what i mean so for now i'm just doing me i'm just you know um i do know what i want outside the house i know that i'm going to pursue presenting modeling you know radio a little bit of acting you know a little a lot of influencing so i'm just taking my time and we will see with time and see what happens we, we will just see because that's the thing you can plan and say you want this and this but if it's not god's timing you know, so yeah, we'll see, we'll see, but I'm very optimistic. Ooh, I love this question. It says, who amongst the housemates inspired you to be greater except for Mimi? I would definitely say Kanaga. I mean, he's bold, he's resilient, he's young, he's very expressive. And I would be like, damn, you know, this guy is so creative and I, I i was inspired by that a lot you know i was inspired by how uh, expressive he is because i want to be as expressive you know i want to believe in myself as much as he believes in himself and then we also have Corsi that is disciplined you know educated sexy and she is talented as well i remember saying to her oh, me i want to be like you when i grow up i mean she's confident um she stands in a group of people you give her a mic and she presents you know what i mean and i remember saying that i want want to get to a point where i'm confident within myself and i'm able to stand up and actually show people what i can do so those two people i think are definitely the people that i would say that inspired me a lot to be greater yeah so the last question is how did you react when you found out what people had to say about you when you were inst still inside the house because i was shocked i remember when i got at the house the, su the sunday and then my friend Meli comes to me and he's like Hey Joe, are you red? And I'm like, what do you mean I'm red? He's like, are you ready to now fix the real world? You know, people are talking, the streets are talking. Are you ready? And I'm like to him, um, I remember saying, I'm not scared of anything. I remember there's nothing wrong that I did in the house. The only thing I'm scared of is how people were looking at my nomination sessions and stuff like that. That's the only thing I'm scared of. So other than that, I don't think I have scandals. <laughs> That's what I was saying. I was like, I don't think I have scandals. And he's like, Mfanaka, people are talking. People are talking. And I'm like, so tell me, what are they saying? And then he's like, they say you dislike this one. They say you had a bathroom incident. I was like, I was shocked, guys. I was really, really shocked. But I laughed because I was like, because I know it did not happen. Because because I know it did not happen. But one thing that actually hurt me a lot was when they said I said I dislike someone. And one thing about me is I will never say I hate a person or dislike a person. But that one actually got to me a lot because I don't like it when people question my character. You know, when people decide the kind of person you are, I don't like that because I know the kind of person I am. And I would never say I dislike a person. I mean, I remember the only time I had the leverage of talking about a person is in the dire room when you have to give a reason why you're putting up a person up for possible eviction. And if you see a person as competition, it only makes sense. So people were like, no, you dislike this person. I'm like, I've never had to say the word dislike and I'd never had to say the word hate inside the house and even outside the house because that's something that i would never say so that one actually really really you know hurt me a lot but i just got over it because i know that i'm not that kind of person but people just want to make it seem like i'm this bad person i'm this and i'm just like ah joe if people have something to say let them say it you know if people just constantly want to be saying things about you i'm like 
I don't mind it. You know what I mean? So yeah, guys, we've actually reached the end of our questions. But no, there's this one. There's this question. I wrote it down. Um, so the question is now this is they say now that you're out the house, are you an ama piano girl or Afrobeat girl? I mean, guys, it don't cast last last now everybody got your big fast to you say bye bye yo i'm an i'm an i'm an i'm an karala my feelings that are singing like jungle lover feelings that are singing like too many get you ruined you ah to my wife everything for sure why you say i did nothing for you i for do anything you want me to do maybe another life you'll be one even my wig almost came off yeah guys so yeah i don't know afro beat or piano but i am feeling good tonight ah, ah, this thing got me thanking god for life i i can't explain yeah 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 <laughs> So yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I really, really appreciate you guys for even getting this far of the video. I know it's a Q and A and it can get like quite boring at some point, but I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. And this is my official video, my official comeback video into the YouTube space. I'm definitely going to be coming in a lot with a lot of content. So I'll be doing a lot of lifestyle. I'll be doing a lot of skin reviews. I can't wait to be doing skin, guys. I really, really can't wait because it's if there's one thing I love, it's definitely skin. So I can't wait to be doing that. I can't wait to be taking you guys to places because I decided this year that I am going to be going places. I'm going to be traveling, you know? So yeah, man, this is me officially saying welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Apileng. It has been great hanging out with you guys. And thank you so much for the questions. If I did not answer your question, when you see me in the streets, make sure you ask me that question and I'll definitely answer it. So yeah, guys, with that being said, my name is Apileng. It's been great. I hope you guys have a great night. Have a great day. A great morning, whatever, whatever. Whether you are watching at night, watching in the morning, just be great and be blessed, man. And remember that everything you put your mind to, you definitely achieve. Whether people have something to say or not, don't even listen to the noise because there's always going to be noise, babies. There is always going to be noise. We're not the right thing. The only thing that you need to do is do this. Do this call your higher power and he's the only person that will look out for you he's the only person that will determine your journey and where you end up in life so um if people have something to say about you just just be one of those things but i'm gonna tell you i said that you know people only talk about you because when they talk about themselves nobody listens and that's on period so if people talk about you baby it makes you relevant because you know why at least they're talking about you <laughs> <laughs> at least they have something to say about you so yeah guys it's been amazing it's been great i don't know there's one thing about me i'm going to say a lot of bye byes and not bye bye not go and say something on top of that so this is my official bye bye it's been great please don't forget to subscribe like comment and please do share this video and i'll see you guys on my next video take care of yourselves babies don't forget to eat pray and love mwah, mwah, mwah.